Greetings everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host Captain Rye in today's YouTube video. I'm back in my Fletcher doing what it is I do best in my Fletcher. And that of course is wrecking the enemy team. If you're watching this video on the day that it's published, I want to wish you a very happy new year. And with any luck, your New Year's Eve was fantastic. And while you're watching this video, you're currently nursing that hangover. I want to apologize right at the beginning of the video for my voice. It sounds still a little bit off as I am still sick. Yes, that's right. The illness I developed on Christmas Day is still hanging around a week later. Though it was quite a lot worse on Wednesday and Thursday, I am finally starting to feel better. And my voice is starting to return to normal. I've been getting a lot of replays sent from you wonderful folks and I just want to let you know that some of them are really really good and warrant standalone videos and I'm working on them and some of them have great and funny moments and you can expect to see those moments in a wonderful compilation video coming out at some point but I do have a lot of content to get through and not a lot of time to do it so if you send me a replay don't be surprised if it doesn't show up on my channel for a few weeks don't get discouraged by that. Again, as I said, I'm really quite busy, so it takes me some time to sit down and do all of that effort and work associated with it. And now, uh, coinciding with the new year, I'd like to announce that I'm dropping my video release schedule back to my original, or standard, three to four videos a week, and that's going to include World of Warships, as well as, more than likely, the live stream footage for Skyrim Special Edition, if you're one of the people who likes watching that. Um, if you have a recommendation for a recording software that's free, that I can use in conjunction with Shadowplay, I would much appreciate it, that way I can actually record in high definition the Skyrim stuff and broadcast it via Twitch and then I don't have to upload to my YouTube the Twitch broadcast which has its own problems. Um, so if you have a suggestion leave that and comment down below I'd appreciate that. Now the battle situation that's going on the enemy team has already managed to secure first blood on a Leningrad tier 7 premium destroyer captained by somebody who I can only assume was a spud. Yes, that's right. I didn't call him a potato. I called him a spud. And the reason I called him a spud, potatoes are bad players. We expect those. Spuds are bad players who are children. And since it is the holiday season and winter break, there are a lot of kids who are out and about playing. And the difference is the kids don't seem to have any desire or capability to improve. And looking at the situation, I've managed to secure the C cap point, the enemy team has secured B, and I've run into the Udaloi that secured the first blood on the Leningrad. And the Udaloi, at this kind of range, well, the Fletcher should be able to take him. He has backup in the form of a Pepsi Cola and that Edinburgh over there. So looking at the situation, I've popped my smokescreen and I've decided to break contact. Now, you'll notice I'm not sitting in my smokescreen, and the reason for that is that Edinburgh probably has hydroacoustic. But more importantly, there is the Udaloi. And there is a British cruiser with torpedoes, so stopping and sitting in smoke in this situation is not advisable. I get my torpedoes off. Those are actually aimed at that Pepsi Cola and not at the Edinburgh. A little bit of a replay bug there for the aiming reticule there. You would be surprised the number of players I see in Tier 9 and Tier 10 destroyers now who will pop their smoke screen and then just sit there. It always amazes me. In fact, I put out a pro tip at the beginning of one battle after having several destroyers in the previous battles that do just that, that said, pro tip, don't pop your smoke screen and then sit in it if there are enemy ships with torpedoes nearby. One person responded by saying, well, I would hope you that you know that because you're at tier nine. And another person responded, well, then what am I supposed to do? Just pop smoke screen and sail out of it? Yeah, that makes sense. He was dead pretty quickly. Enemy Pepsi Cola is pushed up here. I've entered, re-entered my smoke screen. As you can see, I avoided the torpedoes that I was afraid would come through there. Managed to citadel the Pepsi Cola. Can I secure the kill? Come on, shots out there. Let's go. Just not quite quick enough as the friendly cruiser who was supporting me at sea manages to secure his kill. 
overall, so far, not necessarily a bad battle. My team holds two of the cat points, the enemy team holds one, and the team's lists are fairly equal, and they're going to remain fairly equal for a substantial amount of this battle. Now, I'm pushing up, and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and push out of my smokescreen and take the advantage to take the B cap point, because sweet, sweet capping XP. But as I pop out here, here's the enemy Udaloy has popped up, and I take shots at him. I'm spotted instantly, but the Udaloy is popping a smokescreen, so I'm not going to worry about trying to motor away or pop smokescreen. Now, I fire off a set of torpedoes on that lead indicator, kind of hoping that he's going to stop and drift into them a little bit. Simultaneously, I fire a set of torpedoes off behind the original set. That way, if he decides he's going to stop and back up, I can maybe get him there. Of course, he could always decide to move forward, and that's exactly what he's doing. But because he stopped, he moved forward a little too late, and my torpedo manages to take him out of the game. Torpedoing a destroyer with a destroyer. One of the more enjoyable moments. Not quite as enjoyable as torpedoing a destroyer with a battleship, though. Those moments, priceless. But you have to use your mask card to get the premium battleship that has the torpedoes. <laughs> Looking at the situation, the enemy team is now down by one more ship than our team, but they very quickly balance that out. They are in the process of capping the A cap point, and I am in the process of capping B. My smoke screen's back up, and I've got an enemy destroyer and an enemy Bismarck up there, and the Bismarck is burning nicely. So I take shots out, I'm actually aiming at the destroyer here, trying to get a cap reset on him, and the destroyer is laying a smoke screen. I pop my smoke screen specifically so that I could fire while undetected, and not have to worry about the secondary fire from that Bismarck. If that Bismarck has not manual secondaries, I'm well within range of them, and those things are pretty much like dealing with a Nuremberg class cruiser shooting at you. And I don't need to be dealing with that, not with as low health as I have. I fire off a set of torpedoes into the smoke, hopefully in an effort to try and take out that destroyer, but as you can see there, it doesn't matter, the destroyer was already taken out by friendly torpedoes. And I hold off on my second set of torpedoes, waiting to see what's happening. The Bismarck is pushing forward out of the smoke screen, and he's sailing basically right into the path of my torpedoes. Now, of course, he can always dodge those, and that's why I'm hanging on to my second set. If he turns in and manages to avoid hitting any of them, I have a second set ready to go and I can finish him off. Set him on fire a second time, so he's burning twice on the superstructure, and my torpedo hits him and causes flooding. This Bismarck is not long for the world. The question is, who's going to get the kill? He's on fire in two spots and flooding. He is going to die fast, and it is my kill with fire, not flooding or shell damage. That makes me profoundly happy. The enemy team has managed to secure the A cap point, but the ship that's up there in the A cap point in North Carolina is on fire and now is going to have a problem of dealing with me and the Fletcher. If you'll notice, I'm the only destroyer left in the game. Enemy team starts trying to secure the C cap point, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to torpedo the North Carolina. Now, the replay bug here is not showing the lead indicator of that North Carolina, and I fired those off a little bit forward of the lead indicator, kind of hoping that he was going to turn and straighten out. But I have a second set of torpedoes now available, so if he turns in, I'm going to get a nice broadside. I decide to open up, I'm going to be detected anyway. Might as well get some extra damage and try to set the guy on fire as much as possible. As per my hope and wish, the North Carolina decides to turn away, and as a result, he's basically giving himself a full broadside to all of my torpedoes, and I'm going to finish him off with just that set of torpedoes. Enemy team still in the process of capturing C, but they are being reset, and of course it's now at this point that my team has the ship advantage. I fire off one set of torpedoes at that North Carolina who's sailing broadside onto me. He's within range. Here's the thing, though. And this is one of those situations, oblivious battleship players have no one to blame but themselves. I am detected. My anti-aircraft is blazing away on planes. I am well within torpedo range, and I am detected. There's no reason that this battleship should not fully be aware that there is a destroyer closing in on him. And that that destroyer probably has torpedoes out. Again, because 
planes are flying over and they're spotting all that goodness. My smoke screen is up and I enter into the cap and I pop my smoke screen. Battleship does shoot at me so I know he's seen me. I know he knows that I'm here and well within range. But he continues sailing broadside on and my torpedoes are going to hit him. Unfortunately for him, it only takes one for those fun and engaging game mechanics to take hold and he detonates from a torpedo. Battleships, remember, you might have wonderful torpedo protection, but you can still be detonated from a torpedo. Smoke screen set. Friendly ship behind me is detecting the aircraft, so I might as well farm more aircraft kills. It's something that I'm actually lacking over the server averages in this ship is with aircraft kills, so I'm trying to correct that when I have the opportunity. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot down and add my anti-aircraft to more. I got a set of torpedoes up, the second set is just about ready. That Nagato is technically outside of my torpedo range, but just barely. And he is sailing into that torpedo range circle. So I fire off two sets there and secure the cap here at A. At this point, my team way up on ships with four to the enemy, two. The enemy still has their aircraft carrier in play, and he's been spotted. This is bad for him because he now has a Fletcher with a speed boost, well within gun range, and one that can negotiate those islands very, very well. Friendly ship behind me, a little bit of a boop, doesn't matter all that much. Now you might be thinking, hey, what about those torpedoes that you fired off at the Nagato? There's no way that that Nagato is going to sail into them. He can't be that stupid. You were detected. Then again, you are sailing away, and he does, in fact, sail into them. And there is my Kraken Unleashed to go with my Confederate and my High Caliber. What a wonderful battle this is shaping up to be. But it's not over yet. The enemy team still has their carrier, and I know exactly where he's at. And I'm closing in on him. More aircraft shot down by my anti-air, and... Now, by itself, my anti-air, probably not going to be able to shoot down maybe more than one in a squadron from that Lexington. But combine that with the battleship behind me, and suddenly my anti-air is just adding extra DPM, and it's really just a matter of who's going to get that killing blow on the airplane. Firing off shots, hoping to set the aircraft carrier on fire with any luck. The battleship manages to hit him for a massive citadel, knocks out his engine, so you know that carrier is not in a happy mood. If I set him on fire now, he's just going to repair his engine, which isn't going to go well. The carrier does try to take me out of the game by dropping bombs, but R and Jesus be praised, he manages to miss with his dive bombers. Turn in to avoid potential torpedoes, but he decides, no, screw it, I don't even want to deal with torpedoing a destroyer, so he's going to go and try to torpedo the battleship behind me. Doesn't work out for him as the combination of my anti-air and the anti-air from the battleship behind me manages to take out the squadron before he can get torpedoes away. I know he's up here behind the island and I'm closing in rapidly. Speed boost is just deactivated. Doesn't really bother me as I'm well far enough forward. But I have the friendly battleship behind me as well. So I'm going to get torpedoes off here. And I fire one long and one short in case he decides to stop and avoid or turn in. His engine is still knocked out. He's burning in multiple places and he's very low health. Who's going to get the kill? Come on. It's so close. Can I secure it? Let's do it. The answer is no. The battleship behind me manages to take the kill. Still though, not bad. Five kills. Confederate high caliber. Kraken unleashed and 207,000 damage done. 758,000 credits earned. A fantastic battle overall. And of course, this is going to be enough to put me at top of the team for XP earned with three full base captures and no base assists. And that sweet, sweet capping XP gives me a base XP of almost 3,200, which puts me almost double the next nearest guy on my team and triple everybody else. Anyway, that's it for today's video, folks. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. If uh, you'd like to get some irregular channel news and updates and maybe wish me a happy new year or merry Christmas or get well soon, you can do so by liking and following me on my Facebook page. If you would like to help support me and my channel, I highly encourage you to do so by visiting my Patreon. If you'd like to watch me play World of Warships Live, Skyrim Live, or other games live, usually on Sundays around 10 a.m., I encourage you to follow my Twitch channel. And if you've got a 
replay that you'd like to be featured on my channel or just reviewed and get feedback from me, you can do so by sending it to my emailing, PMing me via YouTube, or sending me the link via message on Facebook. You can find the links for all of those in the video description down below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Have a happy new year, and hope that 2017 is better than 2016. This is Captain Rye, signing off.